If you've ever visited Yellowstone or a volcanically active region, there's probably one thing you're likely to remember from that visit, and that is the smell, the characteristic of the mineral we're talking about today, sulfur. Welcome back everyone. Today I'm continuing my series on minerals and today we are talking about sulfur. Sulfur is a really cool mineral. It is actually a native mineral. You'll often find it in fairly pure chunks of sulfur, but you can also find it sometimes with minor amounts of selenium. The chemical symbol for sulfur is just that S. Now hardness of sulfur is described as a 1.5 to 2.5 on the most hardness scale. It's a pretty soft mineral. The color of sulfur is pretty much what you see here, this yellowish color, but sometimes you might find pieces that have more of a greenish tinge, maybe even a grayish or reddish brownish tinge, but mostly it's a brilliant yellow color and it has a brilliant luster. If you can find a crystal of sulfur like this one here, you can see really cool to see crystalline sulfur. Sulfur crystals are best described as orthorhombic, often in steep bipyramids. They can also come in a form that is tabular, fibrous, or these compact clusters, often as encrusting or stalactitic forms. The streak that sulfur will make is just a white. It's also a very lightweight and brittle mineral, and it has poor cleavage. Now, the best ways to recognize sulfur in the field would be that soft, crumbly characteristic, that brilliant yellow color, and of course, its other notorious characteristic, and that is the smell. Not many minerals are that similar enough to sulfur that you would get them confused. Sulfur forms as the result of sublimation from volcanic gases, so it deposits primarily in volcanic environments. It can be found in association with other minerals such as cinnabar, which is a source of mercury, and stibnite. It often occurs in basalts, which are the dark volcanic extrusive rocks, or in other lighter extrusive rocks such as rhyolitic tuff. Accordingly, some interesting localities to find sulfur include Sicily, which is known for fine specimens, and some areas in North America, such as Sulfur Dale in Utah, appropriately named, and in regions where there's volcanic fumaroles, like Yellowstone National Park or Lassen Peak areas of California. Sulfur has many uses, but one of its Big time uses is in the production of sulfuric acid, which has a lot of industrial applications. So there you have it, sulfur. Stay tuned because I'll be talking about a lot more interesting minerals during the mineral series here at Let's Go Geo. So if you wanna learn more about minerals or see if your favorite mineral's in there, just check out the minerals playlist here. Otherwise, if you wanna join my next adventure in geology in the field, then just subscribe here to Let's Go Geo, and I'll see you guys there.